because I'm being a lazy fucker right now, but I just wanted to do a little PSA um, because I saw some incorrect information being spread around and I figured I and I haven't seen anyone post this information. Fucking hair is so beating. Anyways, um, tear gassed. Now, I know that's not something that you feel like you should have to be prepared for, but unfortunately, in the States and a lot of protests and everything else, it's become an issue. So if you are tear gassed, one thing though, if you ha think that you're at risk of tear ga being tear gassed, or if uh, they start coming and you think they're about to launch tear gas, if you're wearing contacts, remove them immediately. Don't wear them if you, if you think that there's some sort of chance you're going to the thing you're going to is you're going to get tear gas because if you are tear gas while you have your contacts and or if you get tear gas in your contacts or you remove them in time remove them as quickly as possible because they can melt, melt to your eyeballs and that's not something you want to happen obviously um because you gotta go to the hospital and stuff like that anyways but just for regular treatment of um if you do get tear gassed um, a lot of people are recommending the milk cure, but it's not been clinically proven to be any more effective than water. Some people are saying that you shouldn't use water at all because it'll make it burn worse. It will in the short run, um, but it will it it's better than doing nothing kind of thing. The best solution, and this is the thing that I haven't seen a single other person recommend, is using a saline solution to wash out your eyes. What is a saline solution? It's a specific type of salt water, and by that I mean it's got the, a specific ratio of salt to water. And it's, you know, use the cleanest water you can get. Another thing too is that it's a nice reason why it burns, it might react to something else in the water. So, you can actually get at, um, uh, at grocery stores these great big things of it. My, my uh, parents have to get it for their CPAP machines of, um, this water. It's in the pharmacy section and my, and my brain is just dematerial demineralized I think or unfiltered or I'm not sure a filter or you, you can get filtered water you know with a, a breed of filter or something basically you want the cleanest water possible with a certain portion of salt anyways to make a saline solution the point of all this is because a saline solution is the closest you can get to human tears so if your eye and what does your body naturally do when you get a foreign substance in your eye you cry because your body's uh, doing its best to do an eye rinse to get the foreign substance out and clean the eyeball with the saline solution which is tears so you can get that shit and make a whole bunch of it and have like a couple of bottles of it in your bag or something so that if you are tear gassed you you know you rinse out your eyes with that if you can fill out a big container and dunk your head in so you're not like so you're getting as much cleaning power with as little waste, you know? Because if you're just pouring like this, most of it's falling off, right? But if you can get a bucket and shake your head in it and everything else, that will get the water moving around your eyes and everything else, and it'll clean out, out all the tear gas quickly, effective, effectively, harmlessly. Because another thing with the milk, though, too, is that not only has it been not proven to be any more effective than water, it also can cause eye infections. It has caused some eye infections in people, so that's another problem why you shouldn't use milk. But yeah, saline solution, honestly, is your best but it's really simple. I'll put a link in the description on how you can make it at home. So, um, yeah, like even if you just use tap water with a certain, the right portion of salt in it, then that's better than milk, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Um, but another thing, too, is uh, that it's kind of harmless to tell people not to use water because it's, it, it, it's less comfortable way of doing it like milk is more comfortable immediately but it can cause eye infections later and the the creaminess soothes it but only temporarily once the milk is gone you'll, the burning will come back if it's not fully rinsed out um, whereas the water the burning doesn't stop and everything else um, but honestly if you find a hose or something and you spray the hose in your eyes honestly that's what they actually recommend the like chemists recommend because it's the closest you can get to a an eye flush which is um, an apparatus that they have in chemistry labs for if chemists uh, when they're doing their thing get some sort something in their eye and they're dealing with like stuff a lot more harmful than t uh, tear gas anyways it's this thing with these t I remember seeing them in high school so it's like this kind of sink thing in that bowl like a sink bowl and it's got these two little things that look like mini shower heads and basically it gets sprayed like into your eyes it's the kind of angling you turn it on is just plain old water f spraying in your eyes until it's all gone and they use that for if you get anything in your eye like i remember one time my mom um actually got a lot of sun got sunscreen in her eye and she oh well, we were at disney world when i was a kid and she went to the nurse's office and they had an eye flush and they had her do that because her eyes were burning and she couldn't see and everything else blah 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 i think that was a shitty sunscreen but that's beside the point yeah 
a hose in your face or saline solution, preferably in a bucket you can dunk your head in and like move around is your best bet. Don't use milk because you can get an eye infection. And if you do not wear contacts, just wear your glasses if you can. And if you didn't realize you were going to get tear gas, remove them the second you think it might be a threat because you don't want that shit melting to your eyeballs. <sighs> Thanks for watching and stay safe uh, stay safe out there.